Robert Mollywood was an American painter, printmaker, and editor. Mollywood intended that his elegies to the Spanish Republic, which are over a hundred paintings between 1948 and 1967, as a funeral song after the Civil War. His reoccurring motif is a rough black oval repeated in various sizes and degrees of compression and distortion. The blobs stand out against the ground of relatively even and white rectangles. Possessing perhaps the best and most extensive formal education in all of the New York school painters, Motherwell was well versed in literature, philosophy, and the European modernist traditions. His paintings, prints, and collages feature simple shapes, bold color contrast, and dynamic balance between restraint and boldly gestural brushstrokes. They reflect not only a dialogue with art history, philosophy, and contemporary art, but also sincere and considered engagement with autobiographical content, contemporary events, and the essential human conditions of life, death, oppression, and revolution. There are approximately about 200 paintings of the Elegy to the Spanish Republic. All of them looking similar to the other. All of them feature a lot of same characteristics as they were all created with oil on canvas, all created by Motherwell during 1948 and 1967. The paintings were part of a series that contained 150 paintings in which the artist expresses his mourning over the loss of liberty in Spain after the fascist for forces were victorious during the Civil War. Robert Motherwell's elegy to the Spanish Republic was his response to what was happening in Spain. The Spanish Civil War 1936 to 1939 was an armed conflict between the Republicans and Nationalists led by General Francisco Franco. When the military coup failed to win control of, of the country, a, war, a civil war ensued, fought with ferocity on both sides. The Nationalists or Rebels received aid from Fascist Italy and Nazi Germany. Republicans received aid from the Soviet Union and international brigades from the U.S. and Europe. The rebellion, which started in Morocco in July 17, 1936. Robert Motherwell was 21 years old when the Spanish Civil War broke out in 1936, but his atrocities had an impactful impression on him. Motherwell taught at several colleges in the early 1940s, where he became a coherent theoretician of abstract expressionism, as well as explaining that his canvases were characterized by large amorphous shapes, painting as strong austere colors. It became evident that as an artist, he loved abstract works of art. He felt that abstract art was an important part to modern art. He has created numerous collages and many editions of prints. Motherwell's Elegies to the Spanish Republic was great, considered his greatest work and was highly criticized. Critics at the time of release knew them as splashy shapes and late April color, but later as an art as art over time changes, it was able to become appreciated and accepted as just right. His abstract style was not really considered art by some people. His depiction of the historical and political trage tragedy as a well-educated and well-traveled person, he studied philosophy in Stanford, Harvard, and Columbia before becoming a painter. The work was constructed to depict hopelessness. The huge black stripes blot out the bright yellow, which could possibly represent the vibrant sun. The bold brushwork and dripping paint provides an expressive and emotional wallop. The elegies to the Spanish art were dedicated as a memorial to poet and playwright Garcia Lorca and the end of the Spanish Republicism. Motherwell deeply identified with Lorca's politics. 
The Spanish LG's at its best was situated on the cusp of beauty and sublimity. His erudition and political elegance counterbalanced the blue-collar bombast of Pollock and Klein. The Spanish LG's at its best was situated on the cusp of beauty and sublimity. His erudition and political elegance counterbalanced the blue-collar bombast of Pollock and Klein. He lived in a time in which he was expected to be wild, moody, tempestuous, as a stereotype that fit Jackson Pollock. He considered the movement to be known as abstract surrealism instead of abstract expressionism. Abstract Expressionism is a term applied to a mo movement in American painting that started in New York City after World War II. The artist used abstraction to convey strong emotional and expressive content. The artist moved away from European traditions of painting to create an American kind of art, best known for large-scale paintings that break away from traditional pro processes and not using canvas and instead of using conventional materials. An artistic movement of the mid 20th century comprising of diverse styles and techniques and emphasizing especially on artist liberty to convey attitudes and emotions through non-traditional and usually non-representational means. Surrealism is a movement in art and literature in the 1920s which developed ESP from data characterized by the evocative juxtaposition of incongruous images in order to include unconscious and dream elements. Distanding rationalism and literary realism, and powerfully influenced by psychoanalysis, the Surrealists believed the rational mind repressed the power of imagination, weighing it down with taboos. They had an emphasis on power of personal imagination, like romanticism, but believed that re elevators could interest in myth and primitivism influence the latter movements. Andre Breton defined surrealism as psychic automatism in its pure state, by which one it proposes to express verbally by means of the written word or in any other matter, the actual functioning of thought. Challenge question. How does one um, create abstract art and have it mean something? <laughs>